Today I'm going to be using this wood circle cutout decor that you can get from the Dollar Tree. They are eight and a half inch diameter and there are four different designs. This one has a laser cut rainbow on it and I'm going to start by painting the entire thing with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. And I'm focusing on the rainbow in the grooved cut area. Once that is fully dry, I'm then going to take my Wise Owl Republic Red and starting at the top, I'm going to apply the Republic Red with this foam dabber. I cut it just to make it a little smaller so that way I don't go onto the circular board area. Now parts of this rainbow is raised. Pretty much every other line is the raised part of the rainbow. And I'm going to focus on covering all the raised areas with the Wise Owl Republic Red. If you have a mini foam roller, you can even just roll over the raised area. Then I'm going to go to my Wise Owl Anchor and I'm going to paint the entire area around the rainbow with the blue. Now when dealing with these intricate, smaller cutout boards, I always start by painting it one full color, and that was the white because I'm going to leave the other parts of the rainbow white. And th that was the hardest area to kind of get to with the paint. I'm going to set that aside to dry, and I have some starwood cutouts. I get these in a bag from Hobby Lobby. They come in a variety of different sizes. This is the smaller size that it comes with, and I'm going to spray paint those with some white Krylon spray paint, and I'm spray painting 12 of those stars. I have some yarn that you can also find at the Dollar Tree. It's just white yarn, and I'm going to be cutting strands of it. I cut mine about two inches in length. I'm only probably going to be using an inch to an inch and a half. And then I'm going to glue them on both the left and right side of the ends of the rainbow. I'm holding that down with some hot glue. So I'm just adding the hot glue to the end of the rainbow here and then laying down those strands that we cut. And I went around both ends. I have a small little rotary cutter that I'm just going to cut the yarn so that it's hanging evenly. And you can also use your scissor to just cut any that may not have cut with the rotary cutter. So this is what we have so far. Once my stars are dry, I'm going to place one at the top of the rainbow here. And then I'm just going to go around the top of the rainbow with the small wooden stars. I'm holding them down with some hot glue. I'm going to add a new hanger to this. I found these wood beads at the Dollar Tree. I'm adding six in the front here. And then I'll go to the other side of the board where the string is and add six more. And then I'll just tie a knot at the top. And you can cut off any extra jute that you may have. To finish this off, I'm going to add a top coat. This is the Wise Owl Furniture Salve. It just helps brighten up the paint. And I'm applying it with the two inch palm brush. This is a great top coat for little projects like this. You could find this on our website at chalkitupfancy.com. Once you apply it, you just want to wipe it in with a cotton cloth. And there you go. Now you have this really cute Americana decor hanger made from Dollar Tree items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.